One of my clients reached out to me today and had some questions about text effects and I realized that I don't think I have a video about that. So here we are. So I've put a couple of different text objects on my slide here. The first example is a smart shape with some text. I have a text caption and I even have a button, a text button. Uh, and all of these, of course, can allow you to apply text effects to it. So let's work with our text caption as an example here. With the properties inspector open and underneath the style tab, you'll see a drop down field for effects. If I click on that, you'll see this little pop up appear and it contains a bunch of information. The first set of eight little icons represent the inbuilt text effects that are available to you. And I can apply any one of these to any of these type of objects that we see on my slide right now. Let's try the white overlay with orange glow. So that creates kind of an interesting effect that you wouldn't otherwise be able to create just with regular text formatting and color. Now, one of the great features, of course, is the ability to create custom text effects as well. And there are placeholders down here at the bottom, four to be precise, that allow you to store those custom text effects. Obviously, there's value in customizing it because, of course, that's going to give you a tremendous amount of choices. As you can see here, I've got parameters within drop shadows, inner shadows, outer glow, inner glow, bevel and emboss, I can apply a satin effect, color overlay, gradient overlay, and stroke. So for this example here, let's assume that maybe the orange effect is not what I'm looking for. So first thing I'll do is I'll change the stroke color. Perhaps I'm going for more of a green effect here and we'll choose the outer glow and we'll change that color as well to one of the green choices. Now I could click OK and it will apply it to this text caption that I have on my slide, but remember I want to save it as one of my custom text effects. So I'm going to click on save and now of course you'll see that in one of my placeholders down here at the bottom. That's useful, of course, because now I can select other objects within my course and apply that very same text effect to things like buttons or to text contained within a smart shape. So again, just scroll down here to the bottom and do the same thing to that smart shape as well. Now, at some point, you may decide that you wish to clear out any text effects that have been applied to these objects. So one by one, of course, I can click on the clear button and get rid of that text effect, uh, but still keeping the saved custom text effect for later use. If I decide that I need to make more custom text effects and I filled all these areas, I can select any one of them and then click delete to get rid of that and open up that space to create additional text effects in the future. Uh, selecting it, of course, applies it, and then I can just hit clear to get rid of any text effects that I've applied. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at PaulWilsonLD, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.